Hi guys and welcome to the video I'm going to be doing on Elena. Uh In this video I'm going to be showing you as a resto druid how to heal it and how to in general get the most HPS out as you can for heroic and normal. So obviously I've got the little um, map as I usually do for these videos and I'll just be showing you where relatively you want to stand. This little symbol is obviously going to be us and I'll just be doing drawings for where the general group is. So obviously, you know, this is phase one, so you're going to be coming through off the portal here, if I just draw this in, coming off the portal here. So in phase one, you're pretty much going to have, you know, tanks here, tanking the boss. I'll just quickly do a red, or black for tank, sorry. Tank is going to be here. As a druid, you kind of want to just be around here. The reason you want to be here is because you don't want to be too close to the melee, so that if the melee have a sleep canister, they don't sleep you. But the main thing you want to be doing is try and designate a healer in your group to be dispelling. If it's you, what you want to make sure is just watch out for the melee dispelling. A range doesn't really matter because if you mess up a melee canister, sleep canister, it's more than likely going to crush your DPS because every single melee is going to get slept. So what you want to do is focus on your melee dispel first before you focus on the ranged. Because obviously a ranged, a ranged are all going to be scattered out across this whole platform. And, you know, if, if this guy here gets a sleep canister, he's only in theory going to sleep this guy here and no one else. But, you know, if you instantly dispel the melee, which is here, and there's all these melees here, they're all going to lose DPS. And sometimes you can get a melee who's so retarded that he runs into the tanks with his sleep canister. And then, obviously, if the tanks get slept, it's a wipe. Especially on Heroic, he still hits like a truck, even after the you know the gear that everyone's got, he still hits like a truck. So you just want to position yourself behind the melee, just further enough so that you won't get slept by them, and not too far to the range so that if one guy behind you gets dispelled, you get slept as well. You don't really ever want to be using CDs here. What you want to try and aim for is use your CDs at the start of this bridge. So as soon as this bridge starts, use your cooldowns, maybe use a trank midway across the bridge. Because melee are just melee on melee, they're going to be running into bombs all over. So if I quickly put the bombs, there's obviously going to be the green circular ones, which are the plain damage, and then you're obviously going to get the um, the stun ones, which I'll put as a red. You just want to be making sure that every single melee or the people who are, if you see people running especially forward, because there's usually a few ranged as well who like to push up and you know be be the guy who's going to go interrupt first if you want they want to get a Sephus prop just want to make sure you're double rejuving all the people in the front and maybe use cooldowns here Velens and Trank because what you want to make sure is you're getting the most out of your cooldowns early so that when you cross the bridge again when you have the big red lines which are obviously going to deal a lot of damage you have your CDs up again so I like to use it on the on the bridge so early on in this phase when people are taking a lot of damage or are crossing the bridge first so that you aren't wasting timings on CD and you're just getting them used it's worth to use Innovate and um, Velens at the start here, just to double reduce everyone, put down your Efferescence on the main group. Um, speaking about Efferescence, what you want to be aiming on either platform is putting it in the melee, because obviously if you put it in the melee, you get the tanks as well. And same here as well, you want to be putting it down in the middle. And you might get a few range getting inside here, which is really, really good, because obviously you get Charge Blast now, which you want to shoot out here. So you could get the range to a uh, usually standing here to come into the middle and come into your Efferescence, and you can get HPS off them. But what you just want to be doing is saving as much mana as possible for when you're crossing this bridge again. He'll cross at 33, I believe, or something around that. He'll cross this bridge at 66. So you just want to make sure, 33, and just tell everyone to just not pop bombs quickly. If they don't pop bombs quickly, you can survive it. As a druid, it takes a bit of time for your HPS to ramp up, whereas with a shaman, they can just pop healing tide, and you know, everyone's full, or, or a master with a paladin. What you want to be doing is you want to stand in the front to make sure that if someone runs into a mine, or something like that, they can just instantly get double rejuved. And once you've popped two lines, what you want to be doing is popping Trank and Velens. You want to be using Trank and Velens so that while people are still running across and popping, you're still getting Velens working with the Trank. Whereas if some people are still full HP, that overhealing will hop to other people and you can easily heal through the bridge. What you also want to be making sure is just looking at what targets are really low because some of them might have a charge blast dot from the previous platform and if they're running across they're going to be taking a lot a lot of damage especially with the lines being popped so you want to make sure you know on this platform as well whoever gets charge blast you're just double rejuving both of them because obviously they're going to get a heavy dot 
and just use life bloom every time there's a um because you'll get you'll get shrapnels landing on the floor in this phase as well and obviously if one person triggers it the dot's going to go on everyone so you just want to make sure that if there's a loads of dots on people just use your wild growth but making sure you're saving trank for obviously the bridges because that's when people are going to take the most damage and you can get the most hps out and in this last phase you want to be making sure that you're focusing tanks making sure they have your life bloom your double rejuves your regrowths just all the hots you can on the tanks because obviously the stacks um, which tanks usually swap on on phase three don't go away until they die so you, know, you just want to make sure the tanks always have your hots up so your hps is going up but that's pretty much for imminent it's pretty simple just making sure that um, in the first platform you're not close enough to the melee so that you get slept, not close enough to the range so you get slept saving the cooldowns for the bridge because obviously that's when people are going to take the most damage especially people in the front who are going to pop first and try and get to the interrupt then obviously in phase 2 double rejuve everyone who gets the charge blasts because they're going to be taking the most damage make sure they're double rejuve, take cultivation so that if they go below 60 cultivation is going to proc and you're going to get more HPS up and then coming back on the bridge use your trank again and Velen's any cooldowns you got, Essence of Ganeer, and make sure everyone is full. And just tell the group before to go slowly so you can deal with it. Just two at a time, one at a time, doesn't matter. Just make sure they aren't doing three or four, which is going to be deadly. Especially tied in with the other dots from previous phases and the other bombs on the platform. So yeah, that's it for Imminar. Um I'll put some gameplay now behind to show you what I mean by this. And yeah, see you in the next one. Charge the blast progression is sponsored by Frosted. Uh. You look, Andreo, he's got two stacks. Make sure he doesn't die. Charge blast, don't aim at the raid. Blasts out the raid. Dodge them. Now all healers, Careful. save your cooldowns for the bridge. And we're gonna let me pop everything. No one else is gonna pop shit. Oh. So like I just saved you there with that iron bar. Thank you. Saved. Hashtag save. Okay, so now we're going across slowly. We're gonna go across in a few seconds. Don't charge blast the raid. Look at where your ship oh, is. Lord Jesus. Now heal everyone up. And now wait, no oh, one go ahead guys. of me. I don't want to see anyone, no one ahead of me. Endrio, Endrio. Slow. I don't want to see anyone ahead of me. Slowly, pop that line. Okay, now we just pop this one. Pop this one, there's no need reason not to. Heal everyone up, and now watch. Slowly dodge the balls, wait for the balls. And Jagged, that's another ball, 10k, my dude. The now dodge these Don't lines. The in your face. Healers use a cooldown. Dispel me if you can, please. Fucking thank you. Thank you, that was a quick spell. Heal everyone up, interrupt the boss now. Interrupt boss, interrupt boss, interrupt boss. Heal everyone up, healers use the cooldown. We have a combat trace. Did you rest just so you can pay on the next MK? Nah, nah, I've got, I got it. I got it on a Word document, dude, don't worry. Everyone pays up eventually. All the legs get broken. He called the account then. In game or Function out of game. Function probably pays his debts. Healing failure, Kappa. You ran into bombs, dude. Never. Give me the boss. Okay, let's go. Oh. 